What's up gamers and welcome to another Hearthstone video. Today we will go over and break down some of the best strategies that you can use to help you win in Battlegrounds. I have highlighted two games that exemplify this in an easy to understand manner and will explain everything with a step by step play. Let's check them out. Some heroes will give you a stronger edge over your opponent, but in general, this will work regardless of the hero you play. There is of course some RNG involved, however, regardless if you flop on the luck factor, follow these simple steps and you will guarantee yourself a top 4 finish. First strategy I want to talk to you about is a Light Fang Enforcer play. There are various ways you can use a comp that evolves around Enforcer. Ideally, you want to find this card and make sure that each turn you have 4 minions that gain plus 2, plus 2, providing the maximum amount of stats to your board. If you are lucky enough to combine the golden version, this translates to plus 16, 16 at the end of each turn. Some comps that can make the stat gain incredibly OP are as following. Hydra as a beast and Foe Reaper as a mech for maximum cleave potential. Combined with other double amalgam since both of these units can gain divine shield and poisonous. Or amalgam and another murloc. You want to give your murloc poison. This leaves your board with two open spots which you can ideally use for brand, bronze beard plus any buffer you roll into. Menagerie Magician is your best find here because he provides you with a plus 4, plus 4 to 3 of your units. Other minions to consider here are Goldrin for the death rattle, especially if you are running double amalgams, Maexna for poisonous buff as a beast, Cobalt Guardian because you can combine this with a replicating menace buff on your amalgam to regain your shield security rover even an iron sensei as mechs to buff up your board some more as for demons battle master can be considered here maybe even void daddy if you can't find any of these minions early on, just go with whatever comp you currently have. If you survive enough rounds, the stats are simply going to carry the game for you and overwhelm your opponents. Now that we have the comps and endgame in mind, let's go through a step by step play on how to best get there. At the start of the game, in almost all cases, you want to buy a minion that provides you with a token. If there are no such options, go for the stats to help you with the first two rounds since this will be your only minion. In the clip I am playing right now, I've picked up Rockpool since I'm using Bran and this provides with maximum stats and I have also frozen for the Alley Cat. Round 2 Without fail, you will upgrade your tavern to level 2. There are only a few cases in which you don't want to do this, but those are very, very rare. In round 3, this is where things get spicy. You can sell a token and buy 2 new units since you will have 6 gold. As you can see in the clip, I have sold the alley cat and not the tabby. This is something that you should always consider since you add the alley cat back to the pool of minions and it provides you with a higher chance of finding it again. Find it two more times and you can upgrade your tokens for a triple. In round 4 you have two options. You can either push for a level 3 tavern and reroll once for better minions especially if you have a hero that enables this like Patchwork or Bartendotron. However, my advice is to buy two minions to strengthen your board, maybe even find a pair. 
This will also fit nicely into your 5th round since you will have 7 gold. Cost of upgrading your tavern to 3 will be 4 gold so this enables you to do so while also buying a minion. From here on out you want to stay at tavern 3 and build up your board for a few rounds. You can upgrade it to tier 4 if you feel your minions are weak so you can find better options but ideally you want to find that triple. Once you find it, never buy it the same turn. You want to freeze and wait for the next round where you can go to tavern 4, combine the triple and find a powerful 5 drop such as Bran, Enforcer, Junkbot, Goldrin and so on. As the game goes on, we prepare ourselves for the late game. Keep going for pairs and upgrade the tavern for powerful tier 6 chances if you feel your board is strong enough. Always keep your mind on positioning, especially against an opponent that can cleave. Make sure your divine shielded units are not next to each other and have your buffer as first attack to break a divine shield. Do not waste that big hydra attack or poisonous minion just to scrape off a shield. By the end, especially if you manage to get an enforcer early on, even upgrade him to golden, you will simply overrun your opponents with stats. The second strategy you can go for that I have highlighted in this clip is a heavy Murloc composition. I had a pretty rough start with George but once everything fell into place I made a nice comeback from 1 HP showing exactly how OP a poisonous Murloc comp can be. This comp is harder to attain since you need Tavern Tier 5 to have a chance of combining into a gentle Megasaur that can adapt your Murlocs into Divine Shield, Poisonous and Wind Fury. Having Bran is not a must but it can help. The early stages of your game will proceed the same as usual. Once you reach that juicy pair that can discover you a brand or enforcer and have a decent lead, you want to go for a quick tavern 5 for that megasaur chance. Alternatively, since there are no tier 3 murlocs, you can spend extra time with tavern level 2 to find pairs and build up your board with some decent stats. Once you are set, discovered or rolled into a brand and it's all about finding those triples to get megasaurs. This is a riskier comp but in my opinion is one of the best in the game right now since poison is the strongest mechanic. You can increase your chances of success by buffing up your amalgam or amalgams, give them taunt, divine shields with a noyum module or the aforementioned replicating menace. Don't forget to search for that Toxfin. He is really powerful because he can give your weaker attack murlocs poison. Until you actually have poison, make sure your war leader is on the rightmost position. With or without Bran, this comp is easier to attain than you might think. Overall, you will end up having more triples than most people in the game due to the discoverabilities of Primafin. This will take some time to master and some heroes are more efficient with this comp, like Bran for example with his OP hero power, or Patchwork and Bartendotron since you can get to tier 5 a tad faster and get that Megastar chance a bit sooner. After all of these, you can just sit back, relax and watch your murlocs devour your opponents one by one. <laughs> That's it for today guys, hope this video helps you in your quest of gaining that sweet sweet MMR. If you like the content or have any questions, be sure to leave a like and comment down below. Have a great day 
and game on.